Hi, we're back with a bang. Today, we will be unboxing the brand new iPhone 15 Pro Max. This is the natural titanium. Uh, we'll be having a closer look today and I'll also be telling you why exactly I got this phone. And if you're on the edge, hopefully this video will help you a little bit. I've been waiting for this moment for way too long. So yeah, let's get into it and unbox this bad boy. Ah. I must say Apple's packaging is always so nice. Here goes nothing. Moment of truth. Was this a very bad financial decision? I don't know. But uh, let's find out. Woo! Oh, Apple's design is always so nice from the top shelf. Wow. Guys, just have a look at this. I'm speechless. Wow, very nice design. So yeah, so in the box, we'll get obviously our charging cables, USB type C, and then just some uh, SIM card tray, SIM card adapter. And obviously you've got our Apple stickers that no one really uses anyway. So yeah. It's got a USB type C, normal cable. Let's just put that aside. <clears throat> This color is amazing. Natural titanium. Wow. So the reason I bought this phone is mainly because I want a phone with a good camera, um, something that is portable. And also uh, this phone has a larger battery life than the iPhone 15 Pro. Um, and in addition to that, this phone also has a 120 millimeter uh, telephoto lens, which I feel like we, I'm just gonna get a lot more creative shots out of this. Um, and yeah, initially this phone is gonna be uh, my YouTube go anywhere, do anything um, camera. A super cool feature that kind of <clears throat> puts this above the previous model iPhone is that it now comes with a USB Type-C port. This means that you can um, that you can record directly into an SD card using a, a USB Type-C adapter, in, uh, USB Type-C to uh, SD card reader adapter. Um, this phone can also now for the very first time record in prologue format, which uh, I, I don't really need to explain that. Most videographers uh, prefer to record in that be just because of the color accuracy that you get afterwards. It now has, uh, obviously it has some curved edges, so it's very, very comfortable to hold this in your hand. And first impressions is that this phone is a lot lighter than last year's model. Uh, 
probably due to the old titanium finishes on the side. And the bezels are also super slim. I don't know if you guys can see that in the camera, but that is, this is a very good looking phone. This phone also comes out with the 120 uh, hertz ProMotion display, which is basically adaptive depending on the types of content that you read or the type of content that you're into. Um, <clears throat> I also saw a video that this phone with the new A17 Pro chip uh, as gaming performance. So someone, I'll just show the video here quick. You can you can see that um, you can actually game on this phone. You can you can use a uh, a few adapters and plug this into a TV with a PlayStation remote and actually proper game with it. Uh, you can see that there's also a um, cooling mechanism attached. So we're gonna have some fun with this phone um, in the coming videos. So if you if you are interested in uh, in seeing what I'm gonna do, what 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 is possible to do with this iPhone, uh, videography wise, and just playing the, the technology wise, please subscribe, like this video, um, and stay tuned. Some um, some interesting things as well. I was filming this video and just holding the phone in my hand right now you can already see there's a few uh, fingerprints on the side I thought that this titanium finish would be fingerprint repellent but obviously it's it's not and I think if you go for the more darker color of like I know that the phone also comes out in a darker blue the fingerprints will show a lot more but however I do think that this is the best color to go for I think it's gonna age the best if you don't drop it for one part but like uh, this is natural titanium so if it gets scuff marks it won't really show that bad so of course I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to slap a case on this phone the first thing I do because I don't want it to scuff uh, so I just got this really cheap case I actually got this case four weeks before the phone was released um, because I wanted to actually just feel the dimensions and hold the phone in my hand and see if I actually like this bigger size because I'm used to 15 or the, the 14 Pro size um, so just quite interesting so just put it right there and then of course I've got this um, screen protector I prefer matte um, I know a lot of people don't because of the marks at least but I just feel like it, it's got a nicer texture to it it's just personal preference, so I'll be also slapping that on um, just after this video. I wonder what the titanium is going to look like in the sun. Yeah, I think that's going to be pretty interesting to see. I think, um, yeah, it's, it's night time now, so tomorrow morning we'll probably find out. Um, but I think it's going to be pretty good, pretty cool. I'm going to end that the video, yeah, I know it's a pretty short video, it's just an unboxing. Um, talking a little bit through it. I know there's not a lot of um, other things I, I got into that this phone uh, has. I, I know I didn't go into much of the specs, but I don't think it, that's as important right now. Um, <clears throat> yeah, this is very cool. Stay tuned. Uh, there's a lot more videos coming. This style of photo lens is so cool. I'm gonna add some shots of this phone right now. like. I'm probably gonna only share this video in, a, in two days time, so you're gonna have some nice telephoto shots right now up there, or well, you're gonna see it. So yeah, you can see it's probably gonna be very crisp. But yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Um, please, please like, share, subscribe, and uh, yeah, until next time, have a good one.